we go ahead and click upload we can start to upload content to our site so let's say we wanted to upload an image we can upload and just click images here and hit continue we're then given the upload files and we can upload six files at a time here as you can see it says click browse and select them from your computer you're allowed to use gifs jpegs bitmaps pang files jpegs which is the same with a different extension uh, wbmt and tiff files you can upload maximum size is six megabytes and then you can choose a subcategory here and what it fits into uh, you can then add tags for the groups of files they can be easily found by other people if you have them in a public setting and then you can choose the privacy settings private network only or public and then uh, you can also tick this box here to say it's correct that the file doesn't infringe copyright they're yours and you own them and then you can type in uh, friends email addresses to let them know it's been uploaded so if you wanted to at this point if you wanted to invite a few people you could put up some cool images or software or videos and then just put in a couple of emails for people on your list or some friends and hit upload so I'm just going to upload one file for the moment just to give you an idea of what we can do here so all I've done here is I've picked uh, an image of a recent trip we had, I've, I've put it under the trips category, I've put in some tags, public section, I'm not going to invite on this stage, I'm going to correct that they don't infringe any copyright and I hit upload and now the site will upload my images. Now that it's finished uploading I can give the photo a title and a description and then I can hit save. So I here I gave it a title saying a beach view on the western cape of South Africa. It's near Reebok, a small place near George and Mossel Bay um, in South Africa's western cape. So we just put in some information into here and then we hit save. And if you want to we allow people to make comments or not comment on the file, it's entirely up to you. Hit save. And once you've uploaded, you can see that it's been uploaded and it tells you how much space you've got left from your allowance and it's got here so if you click the link you could go look at the actual picture and you can send this to your cell phone so if you want to you've got the information here and you can just hit free download to cell phone and other people can do the same so this is where if you had images along here so if you put like some writing about your website so if you were perhaps an artist of um, South African landscapes you might have your website like www.southafricanlandscapes.com or something relevant so that you're going to get people to your site if this was a picture of dogs and you had dog books grooming books you might have that on here as well people can then download it to their cell phone or they can download it to their PC or even send to a friend just some things to point out to you here I want to share with you. When you come down to the file and user details, you get the details of the person who's uploaded, like I showed you with that one a moment ago. Here in the description is, rather than typing in an actual description of the photo, you could put in your website in here as well. So you could not just have it on the image, you could actually have it in the description as well. You can file share, you can actually put this image on your website, on sites like Friendster, eBay, Blogger, MySpace. You could put it on your own website, on your blog, anything like that. And that will then allow people to see the picture and spread the word about your Mobango account and get more people to your site as well. If you go to the tools section, you've got audio converters in here, video converters, ringtones, photos and images, logos, SMS options. There's all sorts of tools and software you can use here. If I just show you the SMS, you can actually set up um, Zim SMS chat, which allows you to send instant messages to um, mobile friends from your computer. So it might be useful to use that. If I go in here to the video converter software, there's software here that allows you to convert um, Windows media files and other, and other ones as well that you can convert videos to fit on mobile. So you've got a lot of applications and software here already built in. Um, but a lot of the stuff um, Mabango does when you upload it, it converts it automatically, but you've got those other options. You can also then go through categories, searching for seeing what other people have put up to get your idea of what's popular and what people are searching for. You can even go to the recently viewed and most viewed and last uploaded top favorites to give you an idea of what kind of products and, and information people are searching for, and that allows you to target those niches. So Mabango is a great resource for other ways to get traffic within social networking traffic. Thanks for watching.